Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fadi in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful fruit card hover effect using Elementor page builder. So initially we can see the cards like this and we hover over on it. You see the beautiful border has been added with transition effect. Also these big letters colors is changing at the same time. And if you want you can apply the different colors with different cards like this. I will show you how to do it very very easily just by using Elementor page builder. So without further ado, let's now go inside Elementor page builder. So right now we are inside Elementor page builder and in this tutorial we will be using Elementor flex container. So make sure from your WordPress dashboard from Elementor settings. Let's now go under experiments tab and from here make sure the flexbox container option is active. Alright, let's now go inside Elementor page builder. So here first I'm clicking on this plus icon and I'm taking that two container structure. First of all, I'm making its height to 100 VH. Here also I'm making the justify content to centered, the align items to centered and here I'm taking the gap to 20 pixel. Also here I wanna add a gradient background color. So go under style tab. From here I'm selecting the background type to gradient and here I'm taking the first color to hash f9 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 it's kind of whitish color and then from here i'm taking the second color that would be hash a d c f f8 all right now within here we have two inner containers but first of all i just wanna delete one so we have now one inner container within this container let's select this inner container first i'm making its width in pixel let's make it 300 pixel and here I'm taking the minimum height to 350 pixel. Then here I'm making the justify content to centered. Now let's go under style tab because I just wanna take its background color to white color like this. And then you know I wanna add a bit of background shadow. So click here on border and from here I'm opening the box shadow option. And here I'm just taking the blur value to 40 and here I'm taking spread value to negative 10. Also I wanna reduce this black color opacity so from here select the color and I'm just dragging it to 0.2 like this. And then with this inner container I wanna add some padding so from here let's scroll up go under advanced tab from here let's add the padding in percentage and I'm adding 4% of padding but here at the bottom I wanna apply 5. So unlink it first and only at the bottom I'm adding 5% of padding. Alright now within this card first of all I want to add a heading widget so click on this plus icon and here I'm dragging the heading element here and this would be basically the big letter so here I'm just writing F. Let's set its alignment to centered and go under style tab. First of all, I'm changing the text color to hash D E D E D E. That's kind of gray color, you know. And from here, I just want to open up the typography. I want to make it size really big. So here I'm making it 114 pixel and also font weight. I'm making it to 700. Then I want to adjust its position by adding some negative margin. So go under advanced tab from here unlink the margin only at the left side. I'm adding negative 70 pixel of margin or we can add more maybe negative 77 like this. And then underneath this big letter I want to add the image. So click on the Rubik's cube icon from here. I'm dragging the image underneath here and let's select the image first. So for the fruits, I'm selecting this grapes image, click on insert media. And as you see on the preview, I want to place it at this place. So to adjust its placement, I'm using the margin. So go under advanced tab from here. Let's unlink the margin at the top. Let's add negative 100 or we can increase it more like 110. Then at the left, let's add 50 pixel of margin or we can reduce it more like 47. At this moment, actually, I want to open up the navigator so you won't get confused. So just right click here and open the navigator. So here the heading is first, then we have got the image element. Now underneath this image, I want to take another heading. Now let's drag this heading underneath here. Actually, that's the reason I have opened up the navigator because I want to place this heading underneath this image here. All right. Now with this text, I just want it to say fruits. 
let's make the alignment to centered now go under the style tab from here i just wanna change its color to hash 222222 it's kind of black color and from the typography i'm making its size to 24 pixel and font weight to 700 and here at the top i wanna reduce the space in between for that reason go under advanced tab unlink the margin at the top i'm adding negative 15 pixel of margin now underneath this heading from here i'm just dragging the text editor widget here and then here i'm pasting some dummy text go under the style tab because i want to set its alignment to centered and similar like this heading i want to adjust their position just under going advanced tab unlink the margin here at the top i'm adding negative 5 pixel and at the bottom here i'm adding negative 10. All right, now underneath this text, I wanna add a button widget from here like this. And you know, let's just make its alignment to centered. So we are done with our layout. Now we will be adding the beautiful hover effect. But before that, I wanna add a class name with this big letter. So that's basically the first heading from Navigator. Now go under its advanced tab. And here within CSS classes, I'm adding the class name that would be big dash title make sure you have added the same class name big dash title otherwise some portion of this animation won't work all right let's now select this inner container from under its advanced tab let's scroll down and open up the custom css field by the way custom css is only available on elementor pro i will put my elementor pro affiliate link in the description if you purchase elementor pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but i will get a little credit for that that will help me to continue this youtube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this now within this field i will be adding a bit of custom css so to get the css snippet you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this page's link in the description from this page if you scroll down a bit you see it says fruit card hover css let's just copy this whole css snippet from here let's copy it go inside elementor and paste the css snippet within here now if i minimize the bar and have a look initially the card is looking like it and when you hover over on it we can see this beautiful border with a beautiful transition effect also the big text or letter color is also changing at the same time I will show you very shortly how you can change this border color or this letter color. Also, if you want, you can adjust this border width. But before that, let's open up. I just want to duplicate these cards because first of all, I just want to check how it's looking on other devices. I mean, I just want to check the responsiveness. Okay, so first of all, let's just duplicate it and duplicate it one more time. And for the second one, click here. First, I'm selecting the big heading and here instead of F, I'm just writing here V because V stands for vegetable and here I'm selecting the second heading and I want it to say vegetables. Also, let's change this image from here. For the vegetable, I'm adding vegetable image here and with the third one, let's select it. First, the big heading here, I'm just writing N and the second heading here I just want it to say nuts then let's select the image and from here I'm selecting the nuts image so here I'm selecting this amount from here click on insert media all right now we can close the navigator and to check its responsiveness you know from here let's click on the responsive mode icon here on the desktop it's already looking great if I now go to the tablet device you see on the tablet device it's also looking great and if i now go to the mobile device on the mobile device it's also looking great so it's automatically responsive we don't need to do anything so let's close the responsive bar from top and now i want to show you if you want how you can change these border colors or border size or the text size like here if i hover over here we can see the border and text color is kind of purple but if I want to change that on this vegetable card, you can do that from here. Just click on this inner container from under its advanced tab, open the custom CSS field. Now have a look with these three lines. You don't need to do anything underneath here. So just focus on these three lines of CSS. These are basically CSS variables. So first variable is B color. So B color stands for border color. Then here's the B size. The B size stands for border size. And here this T color, this T color stands for this text color. 
So let's say with the second color, you want to change this border color to red, for example. So here I'm removing this hex code color and here I'm just writing red. Now have a look, if I hover over on the second card, the border color is becoming red. Then if you think you want to increase the border size, you can do that from here. So B size instead of 8 pixel, if I make it 18 pixel. Now have a look, when I hover over here, the border color, I mean the border size is becoming 18 pixel. But I don't want that, I'm just going back to 8 pixel. And then here the text color, actually I have made it dynamic. So the color we will be using on the B color here, that will automatically become the text color. Like here the border color is red, the text color is also becoming red. But if you don't want that, if you want a custom color for this text, you can do that from this place. So instead of this, you can write any other color. For example, here I'm writing blue. So now if I hover over on the second card, you see the border color is now red and the text color is now blue. And you know, if you want the same color on the border and this text, then instead of this blue, I'm just going back to the previous dynamic color code. And also instead of red, here I'm adding hash 76A713. So here, if I hover over here, you see it's kind of greenish color and this text is also getting the color from this dynamic CSS code. All right, now if I want to change this third card's border and text color, just select the third card, I mean the third container from under its advanced tab, open the custom CSS field and in the same way, let's just replace this color with other color code. That's hash C88149. It's kind of brown color. So if I now hover over here, you see it's becoming brown color, both this border and the text. And finally, when you are happy with your work, don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also, if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.